Hi everyone, it's Adam with VideoMind. We're outside of Roku's offices. We're gonna go inside and speak with Jim Funk. He's the Vice President of Business Development. Come on inside. We are sitting down with Jim Funk, Vice President of Business Development here at Roku. Jim, thank you. Thanks for having having us over. My pleasure. So my sister has a Roku box. Thank you. And she is not technologically savvy. Yep. The one thing that has done for her is she can plug it in and she can actually use it. Yeah. How has how has Roku changed the way people watch TV? Well, as simple is good because we really reached a broad audience. I mean, we've got. Um, people of all ages, you know, the remote control is super simple. Um, the biggest thing, and it was really driven by Netflix, when they put up a whole season. So the, f the first thing is it's on demand. You watch it when you want to watch it. You know, it's not scheduled broadcast. And the second thing is you get whole seasons of TV shows. And so people now just sit down and they'll literally watch, spend a weekend watching a whole season of a show. And that's something you just couldn't do really ever before. Right. And um, it's called binge watching or marathoning. I think there's a lot of different terms that are popping up, but everybody who gets a Roku box ends up doing that at some point. Right. So instead of wasting, you know, 10 hours over the course of a week, you can waste it. It's a, it's a Saturday, just, just gone. Boom. Yeah. 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 Off yeah, the yeah. How many mood boards have you created on Pinterest? None. Last week? None. None. Do you plan to make? No. No. Not a Pinterest guy? No. No. Sorry. Okay. How many places have I checked in on Foursquare? I'm going to go on a limb and say zero. 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 Yeah. How many Facebook posts have I ever made? Mm, two. A couple, yeah. What is the streaming stick? So the streaming stick is a new announcement at CES. It's basically an entire Roku box in a form factor about this big. It looks like a flash drive. It plugs into the back of your television and makes it a smart TV. So uh, there's a new um, connector being made available on televisions called an MHL port. And this uh, device, the streaming stick, will plug into that port and turn your TV into a fully smart TV with all the functionality of a Roku box. Like magic. Like magic. Boom. Only I easier. It. I like it. I yeah, like so that'll be available this summer. Okay. And shipping internationally? Uh, so this year, um, international is a big part of our plans. We launched in the UK and Ireland um, just a couple of weeks ago. Um, more coming. We announced Canada, which should be uh, shipping very soon. And in each of those countries, we have a combination of the same content we have in the US plus some new content um, that's specific to that country. So for example, in the UK, we launched the BBC iPlayer as part of our lineup there, and there's more coming on the way. How do content producers get their content on Roku? So we've had a, an open uh, software development kit for about two years now. We have our, our channel store, which is basically an app store, um, is available on all Roku boxes. So um, a developer can either get the uh, SDK, which is available on our website, and create their own app, and then we publish it um, to the channel store, or they can work with an online video platform such as Uyala, who have a, a kind of a pre-made integration with Roku, and uh, have a channel published that way. So it's easy, it's open, um, there's no fee to publish a channel on Roku, and we have about, I think, 450 different options right now in the channel store. Okay, and this, will, this video will be 451? 451? or. By then, we may have 460. Yeah. So we recently released the video index report, and one of the things that we found was uh, views on connected TV devices and connected TVs were really starting to take off yep. in the second half of 2011. Do you see us approaching a tipping point of some sort where viewers are getting comfortable with these, you know, watching, quote unquote, over the top on a big screen? Yeah, I think we're there. I mean, at the first, it's indistinguishable from TV in terms of quality of experience. So it's not grainy web video 10 years ago. It's, it's full high definition. So people don't think about where the video is coming from anymore. People are used to the on-demand experience. And it's just a choice. I mean, in Roku, there's probably hundreds of thousands of videos available in all the different channels. If you sit down in front of television, you know, you've got a lot of channels. But at any given time, that's, you know, what's being broadcast is the list. So, I think the choice makes a big difference, and people just get used to that way of thinking about television. Um, obviously, there's things like sports and, and event TV, like American Idol or something like that. that's still going to draw a crowd. Right. But after that, people just, just like the on-demand nature of it and the choice. Right. I think what a lot of the interesting thinking going on in the industry today is how to integrate your smartphone or tablet with your TV experience. And we, we have a, a fairly straightforward iPhone app we just released, and there's mm -hmm. one coming out on Android any day now. Um, but we see a lot of innovation going in that area where, the, where at some point your entire remote control may be your phone or your tablet um, and it just it provides a supplemental experience or a richer experience combining the two than just your basic remote control. What's, what's the future hold for Roku? 
What's the vision? Yeah, the vision, I think, you know, it's always um, a couple of things. We're adding new functionality. So we added games uh, last year. So the box is video. Um, music's very popular. We haven't talked about that, but music is actually um, one of the major uses of a Roku box. Um, and now games. New form factors like the streaming stick. So if you have a, you make it really, really um, simple. You buy your TV, you plug it in, away you go. Even easier than it is today with the set-top box. Um, and then just more content. Uh, we we want to have the most content, but we also want to have diversity of content. So things like foreign language content that, that um, are very hard to find otherwise. You know, all that's coming to Roku today. Jim, thanks so much for Thank talking you. with me. My pleasure. And sharing your, your thoughts with VideoMind. Thank you. <laughs>